Hi everyone, welcome to week two of Project Nazareth. Hopefully your first week went really well. Uh, this week we're talking about God as creator. So last week we talked about God in existence, the existence of God, and this week we're talking about how he created everything. So the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, talks about in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. God is the creator, so he wasn't created by anybody. He is the creator. He is love. He is existence itself. He is truth. He is beauty. He is goodness. So out of his love, because he is love, his love overflows into creation, and he creates everything that we see, the world, the universe, the stars, the moon, everything. Now, we, being creation, and everything that we see is a reflection of God. It's a reflection of God's goodness because God is goodness and he is good. So everything he creates is good. So we're created good. His creation is created good. And therefore we're created a reflection of him. So in our very existence, we reflect the goodness, the beauty of God. And as we look around us, especially now being in fall, the beautiful leaves turning, we can look around and we can see the beauty of creation. And that beauty is a reflection of God. So we can get to know our creator in a sense a, a little bit through his creation. We can come to know things about him, that he's good and he creates these beautiful things because he cares about us and he loves us and he provides for us. So he gives us creation to provide for us. He doesn't leave us, he doesn't just create us and then just let us go. He creates us and he and everything around us, so the animals, he provides food for them, he provides food for the birds, and he provides for us also because he loves us so much. So all of humanity asks some essential questions. Who am I? Where do I come from? And where am I going? In order to find the true answers to those questions, we have to turn to God, our creator, who knows us better than we know ourselves. So we're praying for you this week. Hope this was helpful, and I hope that you have a wonderful week with your family. God bless.